Welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at the top 30 cryptocurrencies by Market Cap. We're going to start with Suya number one, followed by Dot, Leo, Uni, Litecoin, Near, Aptos, Pepe, and then we end it with ICP at number 30. Let's get straight into it. Sui against BDC. Okay, so for Sui, we are hoping and anticipating a right shoulder to appear. Right. If this is a brief type of a move, then I think this could be a fifth wave. Right. And then we fall. But uh, if we do consolidate a little bit longer, then yeah, this could be a right shoulder. And then Sweet BDC could hit much low, uh, higher. Right. There could be a breakout coming on for Sweet BDC, which would translate to more upside for Sweet USD. Uh, whole thing is a one, two, three, four. One more up, five. Probably towards three dollars for Sweet. Dot against BTC. Here we have a dot. Okay, dot is just dropping down into irrelevance. Dot against USD. Yeah, we have a target over here. 286. We're still anticipating dot to head lower. However, however, uh, just as uh, DJT has won uh, the election, we're probably going to be seeing a strong rally coming on for altcoins, crypto, everything, tech in general. So probably heading towards a skinny pink line over here or polka dot. Leo, Leo against BDC. Here we are for Leo. Leo is <laughs> he's looking good against BDC. Leo is expected to hit five thousand satoshis. Right now we're at eight thousand, so a little bit more downside for Leo against USD, bro. Leo against USD. Yeah, I suspect that uh, we could be slowly crawling our way higher. One, two, three, four. Another wave higher. Five, and then we come back down. Right, so my guess is we'll clear these highs. We rarely clear these highs and then we come back down. And once we come back down, this will be the completion of a wave C. That's my take for Leo. Uni swap, Uni against BDC. Uni just suddenly started going bananas towards the upside. Uh, but anyway, Uni against BDC is still clearly under the skinny pink line. We're still in a bearish trend. How much longer this is going to go? We don't know. Until we clearly break above it, consolidate above it, and continue higher. We are still gonna remain with a bearish bias for uni against BDC. Uni against USD. Here we are for uni. Yeah, again, so like I was saying, you went bananas. Anyway, we took out these highs. So we're gonna consider 450 to be invalidated. Uh, how much higher are we gonna go? I mm, don't know. It's quite messy though. So yeah, nothing, nothing much for Uniswap. Litecoin. Oh boy, Litecoin is super bearish. So Litecoin just keeps continuing its downward trajectory, right? It's just useless uh, at this point of time. Litecoin against USD. Here we are for Litecoin. Mm, yeah, we still have a $32 target over here. We're still anticipating it to be hit. We're under the skinny pink line. And even when we went above it, we just keeps, you know, it just keeps coming down. So yeah, there's just nothing much happening for Litecoin. If anything, I would just keep Litecoin, right? Because volatility is the lifeblood of a trader. This is not volatility. Near against BDC. Here we are for near. Near is uh, <laughs> collapsing lower against BDC. You will see it on the USD pair. Uh, the bearishness. Again, we're clearly under the skinny pink line. I am of the opinion that we will eventually hit 245 and then potentially $2. Now, because there's euphoria, right? Uh, because uh, DJT has won. Uh, and right now we are hitting at the resistance, right? Support, once broken, becomes resistance. So there is resistance at the moment. Will we break higher? I'm not too sure. The moment we take out these highs, we will consider these targets to be invalidated. We will revisit the targets uh, if and when uh, we see bearishness continue towards the downside. But as it stands, we're expecting here to go to 245. Aptos. I don't know what Aptos is doing. Aptos is just in and out and up and down and you know, still under the skinny pink line. No clear signs of a bullish reversal yet against BTC. Aptos against USD is uh, kind of in an accumulation, but not our kind of um, chart pattern. We want to see lower highs and higher lows, but this is a lower low as well. So it's like, yo, bro, are we going to get another lower low? Do we still continue higher? Yeah, sure, of course. Uh, if you go higher, then maybe this could be something like an inverse head and shoulders. Very, very big one. And then we hit higher. Right, probably towards 50 bucks. Uh, but as it stands, Man, nothing much yet. It's not ready for a move yet. Pepe, Pepe against USD. So Pepe, we still have a target over here, uh, 360 and then 177. Uh, so yeah, again, uh, I suspect we're going to be doing something like this eventually. Even if you were to go higher, right? I still suspect that uh, eventually Pepe will have a very big fall. 
Uh, but anyway, uh, the moment we take out these highs, right, we will consider these targets to be invalidated and we will be expecting upside, right? We will probably have upside targets uh, once we clear these highs. Uh, but as it stands, mm, yeah, I'm biased bearish. Although it's a falling channel, right? And we could be heading higher, but we're very close to the skinny pink line. So that's my take for Pepe. ICP against BDC. Here we are for ICP. We are... Still down under the skinny pink line. Mm, no clear signs of a bullish reversal yet. We could be in the makings of a potential reversal though. But until it happens, yeah, we, we could just drop lower and clear these clusters of cells. Against USD, ICP is, yeah, we have a target over here, 5.70 and 4.17 cents. Uh, as it stands, it feels to me like we are completing a descending mountain one, mountain two, mountain three. However, be very, very careful because we'd be, we, we could be clearing all these clusters of buys Choo! before coming back down. So that's ICP for you. All right, boys and girls, that's it for today's Top 30. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you in the next one. Ta